Hi everybody, it's Darkabalist77 and today I'm going to be doing a uh, first look, first impressions of Misa BB Cream. This is a Korean BB Cream. Uh, BB Cream just because I've heard that BB Creams from Asia are far BB Creams from Asia are far superior to American or Western BB Creams. So, um, I just wanted to give this a shot. Um, I haven't really tried a lot of BB creams or tinted moisturizers. Um, yesterday was the first time that I did try a BB cream and it was from NARS and I ended up liking it, but it was only a sample. But, um, anyways, what really drew me to the Misa line was, um, the color range. This is one of the few... Asian companies that cater to darker skin tones. So if you are um, my shade range or a little bit darker, you might find something that will work out for you. The shade that I'm going to be reviewing or doing a first impression on that I bought is number 27 Honey Beige. And this is what the packaging looks like. Um, it has all the ingredients listed here. It's very metallic and mirror-like. And I'm actually really surprised that all the stuff on the back is translated into English. So, you can see English. I was expecting Korean. Yeah, I was really expecting Korean. Um, so, it says it's a multi-function BB cream with effect of UV blocking, whitening, and wrinkle care, creating perfect cover makeup. And it says it's dermalog dermalogica dermatologist, dermatologist, that's how you say it, dermatologist tested. And this has SPF in it, and the SPF is 42, so this is really high SPF. That's another reason why it drew me in. Now, about my skin. I have combination skin, so I sometimes get a little bit dry, but for the most part, I am oily. Um, as you guys can see, I have been breaking out a little bit right here on my forehead right here then I have past acne marks and a little bit of like an acne right there and there but it's not that bad it's actually gotten a lot better so we'll sh we shall see how this works out for me ooh actually I really like the packaging on the bottle it's kind of like this red orange gold with lots of glitter and sparkles and the best part is it has a pump so it's more sanitary I actually really like that um I don't know why but I was expecting it to be like slightly bigger than this but um it's not bad amount so I don't know So we shall see how much I like it. And I'm just going to pump, okay, oh, so you can I'm really tell it's like a little bit on, like not so liquidy. I like the texture, it's really kind of like, Oh, it goes to cream to like a powder finish. That's really cool. And another thing that I noticed about this one is that it's um, kind of got like a yellow tint to it. And yellow based foundations, BB creams, are really good for covering um, redness 
And if you are warmed toned, this is going to be a really good match for you. Um, I have, um, technically I do have neutral undertones, but my undertones sway more to the yellow side. And this pretty much freaking matches my skin pretty damn well. So far I've just been putting it on this side of my face. And this side doesn't have any of the V cream. And I really can't tell the difference. I really can't. Um, maybe under here a little bit in the under eye area because I have dark circles. Just because it's her hereditary. Um, but I do like that it comes to like a powder finish. It's a little bit thick. It's not as liquidy as I thought it would be. But um, I do like, I have a feeling this will be really good for my skin. And just so you guys know, I'm actually testing this in winter. Um, I just got really curious, and even though it's not summertime, I just wanted to see how this would work out for me. I'm pretty happy I decided to get it so far, um, just because of the, like, cream to powder. I like that. Never really had that, but now that I've tried it, I kind of like it. Okay, so while I was doing my makeup, I uh, kind of noticed something. Um, one, because I am nearsighted, so forgive me, but I didn't notice that it clung to this little patch right here next to my acne and it's like really noticeable like so if you have dry skin I wouldn't necessarily recommend this um, BB cream and the other thing is to put it on concealer underneath my eyes and I went for my Sonia Kashuk concealer and um, it usually is like a really creamy concealer and it really works well with um, some of my other foundations and I thought it would work well with this foundation and it didn't really work well. Um, so I had to go over that concealer with my MAC concealer which is a deeper more um, peach toned concealer to cancel out my under eye um, darkness. Hi, I'm back. Um, most of my makeup is done. <clears throat> Excuse the right lip with the dramatic eyes. Kind of decided that I was going to go glam to work. Um, yeah. But, um,. A couple of things I did notice with this foundation that was a little bit different from some of my other foundations that um, it kind of made my other like face products a little bit like um, different in color like um, like my cheek like my blush it made it a little bit brighter um, like my bronzer, it seemed to make my bronzer like, I don't know, like a little bit on the orange side. So, um, I don't know what's up with that. Um, I, I don't know if it like helps, I don't know if it's the whitening properties or what, but, um, I just thought that was like a little bit weird. Maybe I'm just like crazy. Maybe it's just like the light in my bathroom and I'm imagining shit. So that could be it. 
All right, I'm back. And so far, it's been an hour, and I can already tell that um, the oils in my skin are starting to work with the makeup and make it a little bit less um, dry looking. Of course, it is clinging to the patches that are dry just because it's winter. Um, I definitely would want to test this uh, foundation out in summer and see how it reacts in summer. But so far, I like it. I don't hate it. Um, I'll just have to work with it a little bit more and see my overall rating of lasting power um, and play with like how it interacts with other products and such to see um, how best to work with it and what products work with it best. Um, Obviously, every foundation, every, you know, product has its strengths and weaknesses. So, um, I'll see what are, what its weaknesses are. And, um, I'll give you guys an in, more of an in-depth review. Guys, I have just gotten off work. Um, it is approximately... After 11.40, I believe, so not quite 12, but I got off work early, and um, so this is what my face looks like. Um, let's see, like it looks a little bit um, dewy, but my face doesn't look like an oil slick, so that's good. Um, I don't think there's any patches that have worn off. It's actually held up pretty good, so I'm really impressed. Of course, it is winter, so it might be a different story in summer. But this definitely does have my seal. Uh, this definitely does have my seal of approval. So um, yeah, I would definitely give Misa BB cream a try. Definitely. And, uh, yeah. And, um, my cat Lily says hi. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, you're so sweet. When you want to be, you can bite me. You always bite me. Oh, yeah. So that's it for my review on this, or I should say a review, first impressions type deal for Misa BB Cream. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was really long and weird, but whatever. <laughs> okay, bye.